from our conversation, one gets the sense that, you know, somebody said, every nation gets the government it deserves. Do we deserve this government? It's a harsh saying, mm. but unfortunately, it's a true saying. Mm -hmm. The Americans deserve Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. We deserve Emerson Mnangagwa. Mm -hmm. Because we allowed Emerson Mnangagwa to be where he is mm -hmm. and to do what he's doing. Mm -hmm. um, I don't want to sound churlish or over simpli simpli simplifying our problems. But quite frankly, if we conducted ourselves differently, including those who are inflicting so much pain on the majority of us, we wouldn't be where we are. Mm -hmm. So we are responsible by commission or by omission. So, yes, I, I, I'm afraid I, I concur. It's mm. a harsh saying, as I said. Mm. Uh, when you look at the suffering that our people are enduring, you can and you must conclude that we don't deserve this. Mm. But when you take it from the standpoint that we are responsible for who is leading us, mm. I don't know what the statistics are for 2018, but uh, for the best part of this decade, barely 30% of us went to vote in any election. And when I studied these statistics in 2008, this was one of the factors that buoyed me into believing we could make it. Mm -hmm. Because we thought if we mobilized even just 25% of those who don't go to vote and half of them voted for me or for change, mm -hmm. we would win. Mm -hmm. Of course, we had not countenanced about the rigging and uh, the refusal, but just assuming naively that the votes would count, mm -hmm. the numbers would have made change for us. Mm -hmm. Not just in 2008, but even in 2000. Remember when we rejected the constitution, constitution. in mm -hmm. February yeah. and then elected the MDC into a majority in parliament mm -hmm. in March? Mm -hmm. We were making change there. Mm -hmm. So it is from that standpoint mm -hmm. that I concur with the saying every mm -hmm. nation deserves the leaders it has. But obviously we don't deserve the drudgery that has become mm -hmm. the hallmark of Zimbabwe today. Mm -hmm.